Today is the launch of the Leinster Senior Football and Hurling Championships and we're here at the Pierce Museum in Ratfarnham. The significance of that is twofold. Um, today is the 100th anniversary of the execution of Porrick Pierce in Kilmainham Jail, but also Porrick Pierce played a significant part in the Leinster Council. He was Vice President of the Leinster Colleges in the time he was Principal here in Colossia de Aina. So we felt the day and Pierce's involvement and the year that it is, that it was a rather unique occasion to actually arrive here today and launch our championships. We know we'll play the winners of Wexford and Dublin, but at the same time our focus, as ever, is going to be on ourselves and trying to get a maximum out of ourselves. And, you know, when we do, when we do find out who we'll play, obviously we'll look at, look at you know, at, at the opposition and that. But in the main, I think, like most teams, it's trying to get what we're about ourselves right. Anybody involved, I mean, players, management, everybody else concerned with the team, you know, you're challenging yourself to get a maximum out of what, what, what's, what, what you're doing. And, you know, that, that challenge comes up every year. Obviously, the supporters are, are looking for, for the best possible results as well. But I think there's a real understanding as well from everybody within the county that, you know, that the, the players are, are giving as much as they can give. When we started out the, the last week in January, um yeah, we 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 had a set plan to try and get as as much game time into some of our uh, less experienced players, and to, to that end, that objective was achieved. And and uh, you know, each each player that took to the field representing Dublin did their very best, and and uh, that was reflected in the results that we got. Um, so to that end, that that that's, that that was very satisfying. And uh, some players who have returned from injury have got now got back in the park for us as well. So all all, all told, we're, we're in a very good position. The players. Over the last number of weeks, have played uh, both hurling and football championship with their clubs, and that's good for them as well to go back to to, to the clubs and, and parishes that developed them as players. And we look forward to regrouping very soon and, and focusing on unleashing Wicklow. There's a lot of you know the players retained again from the last number of years who I suppose since 2012 now have two and actually a replay three All Ireland finals under their belt as well. So there's a, there's a nice mix of I suppose maybe experience of the the big games and and all of that as well as some. You have some um, youths coming into the thing as well, so if we can get a good mix going there, hopefully you know it bodes well for this year's championship again. I think we learned a lot from the league. Um, there was many, there was a couple of games there where we had tough results, and we, you know, we we regrouped as a, as a team and took what we could take out of those uh, games. And from that, we learned quite a lot. Yeah, so we're we're in, I think we're in a good position going forward. In the past, we've we've shown a glimpse of what we can do. Um, I think it's just a matter of now putting it all together for 70, 70 plus minutes and then hopefully that will be that that should be enough hopefully to bring us through in fairness to the Kildare supporters um, they're an absolutely amazing bunch they're phenomenal in terms of following and supporting the team through thick and thin um, there's been a lot of barren days um, there hasn't been a Leinster Championship since 2000 so it's been a tough road for the supporters um, and you know I can assure them that as a management as a backroom and as a group of players we're leaving no stone unturned to, to try and bring those glory days back to Kildare football but you know you need to be rational as well and it's always going to be a challenge when you have the Dublins of the world in particular um, no more than me this well well, Leash are there, they're competitive. Um, it's, it's going to be tough, but all we can do is do our very, very best. It's all about winning games and championship. Um, I, I don't think players play otherwise, if I'm being honest. Um, so, look, we will be leaving no stone unturned for the 21st of May against Dublin. Um, like I said, it, it, it's also important to get a get a good start and get a win in the, in the first round, uh, and hopefully momentum will carry on then through the, the rest of the Leinster campaign. Mm -hmm.